what has inspired you to really start this venture? Tell us a little bit more about that story. Well, um, grief brings on changes in your nervous system. And um, my eczema, which I hadn't had in years, flared up. And I asked my doctor for, um, cord you know, general treatment, corticosteroid cream with antifungals in them, because they do compound them, so that you can use one cream that has two actions. And he said, absolutely not. The steroids will thin out your skin. And besides, you know what this is really about. Um, your nervous system is flaring up because of grief. So he said, I want you to use plants. And you know when you're when you're in grief, you you can't recall a lot. Your recall just goes down the drain. So he said, I know you're having a hard time recalling. I know that you know this stuff um, with plants and chemistry. So I'll give you a start, and then you go from there. He said, start with aloe. And that's all he said. He said, start with aloe, and if aloe doesn't work for you then find some other plant product, but no synthetics. That was his only rule. And that's where um, we begin. Actually, let's see. I think I know what it is. Okay. Let's see if that does it. Actually, the camera is good and the lighting is super bright. <laughs> it's just a basic <laughs> contrast. So, uh, sorry about that, but thank you for the heads up because usually this is really super bright but um that was pretty much it and from that point i went from clearing up my eczema and he proved to me yeah i can't use synthetics and i was working in hospital i i definitely can't use synthetics i was in surgery rotation it tore up my skin I'm like surgery is not for me i'm not doing it and um he sent me to a dermatologist to get medical clearance to use my products as long as I had to work in labs or in hospitals, whether it was the floor or the clinic or surgery, it didn't matter. And that was pretty much the start of it. And then I, I returned natural. I was one of my dad, my dad always wanted me to wear my natural hair. Um, so, and I always did too. So I made my own everything. Um, and what ended up happening was whether we were going to visit family in New York and Florida, anywhere, I kept getting stopped about my hair. And it was much shorter than this. Like my hair is past shoulder length now. Yes. Right? That's but, um, yeah, it's a, like when you have 4C, 4B, you get a lot of shrinkage, but people think you don't have hair. I got a lot of hair. <laughs> but, um, People who do hair professionally kept stopping me and asking me which products I use. Grocery store, pharmacy, church, it didn't matter. I was always getting stopped. And my mom was like, okay, enough of this. You need to start a company. And that was pretty much how that went. Yeah, and you are doing it. You have a lot of products. And when I was on there shopping around, and I wish I had my products here but I'll just have to show them later uh, that's okay I have it this one this is what you purchased the zapid oil yes I'm ready for that because my scalp look it can look nice on the outside but get in there <laughs> yes um I actually designed this for a relative that has um diabetic neuropathy so their skin constantly itches, especially their scalp. And so, um, and then they would get scalp acne and dandruff. So this one product take, takes care of all of that. It takes care of the acne, uh, whether it's on your face or scalp, razor bumps for men, um, dandruff, especially if it's fungal in origin. I mean, that is great to have a product that works with your skin and your hair. And also to have that relationship with your customers where they're giving you that great feedback. Is that right. kind of something that's been consistent throughout the life of the company? Because I know sometimes with beauty products, it's like trial and error. 
Well, it's been consistent because first of all, everything I made, I initially made for me. <laughs> I don't get razor bumps, but there were two things. One thing that um, I learned science from my parents. They were my first science and math teacher. So they always said, you know, look at nature. Everything is multifunctional. Whatever you make, create. And this is from when I was small. If it only has one use, when that when that is made obsolete, what do you have? So you have to make sure that whatever you create is multifunctional so that the uses don't wear out. Even if something else makes it obsolete, you can still use it for this, that, or the other. So that's pretty much how I design from a chemistry and biochemistry and physics point of view. The last thing I ever think about is putting fragrance in any product. It's not, it's literally the last thing. There, um, but for me, I tested it on myself first. And then when my relatives saw my results, they wanted to try, so they bought. And then the good thing is I have a lot of uncles and male cousins, a lot of cousins who are men, young men and middle-aged and older men. So when it came to testing our products on men to make sure they were men approved, men strength, it was not a problem. <laughs> um, and that, that really goes for our deodorant and our underarm balm. I actually made this on request I initially didn't have all the products. I only initially had three products, the mist, the gel, and the cream. And then as people tried those, they started to ask me to make other stuff. So I had a cousin that wanted shampoo and conditioner. Had another cousin that wanted to define um, her curls. Another cousin who wanted to soften his beard. And you can find us at goodhairgoodbody.com. Uh, you can click the link in our bio. We have, we do, provide a lot of free products too so um right now we have um a product guide it's a digital interactive product guide so if you download it for free you can click on any picture or product headline name and get directly to that product on the website you can also go to our website if you want uh, and find our products there we're starting to introduce uh, more educational products like um, one is the the impact of stress on their mind and body and initially that was supposed to be a very small book right now that book is approaching a hundred pages and like 14 chapters and I'm yeah I'm actually having to break it down by system and um, basically we detail what stress does to the entire mind and body head to toe um, from behavior to memory to stress reaction how it starts to hardwire you to react in a certain way it hits the immune system the cardiovascular system endocrine system reproductive system gastrointestinal system and by the time i i started to go i said oh um this is a project that should have been 15 different projects we rather have a client base that's very well informed so that when we bring things to the table, they see the value, they know that we're bringing value. And we just covered allergies about 10 days ago because I actually, someone, a, a client called me about someone they knew that was having really bad, they thought they were allergies and they were, but they were misdiagnosed as eczema. So I literally, um, and I don't do this often, but this is somebody who's been a client of mine for a while. We literally sat down and like went system by system by system and exposures and things and said, okay, take this list to the family and then, you know, let them know that they need to see this type of doctor. They need to request this type of referral. And then, you know, you can hand them a list after you've done the inventory in your home of new stuff that you've been exposed to or the child's been exposed to.